Okay, now we are going to look at this chapter today. Which chapter is this? Chapter 11. Yes, very good. Chapter 11. This is about introduction of set. So in this chapter, we are going to see two things over here. Means we have two subtopic. First, we are going to look into set. It's a new thing for you. Huh? Last time, this topic was in Form 4. Now, they drag it down to Form 1. And then they introduce you a little bit about it. Later on, when you enter Form 4, uh, you are going to learn uh, further about this set. So in the second subtopic, you are going to learn Venn diagrams, universal sets, complements of sets, and subsets. All these are new to you. Okay, don't worry. We are going to go through all of this one slowly. Lah, huh? First, we are going to look into set. Set also, there are five little sub subtopics. Today, we are going to look just into two first. Okay, let us see what are they for the introduction part. So this is chapter 11. Huh? Okay, you look at this uh, picture here with the three recycle bin. Okay, we look at the given information. The Ministry of Urban Wellbeing, Housing and Local Government, UHLG, strives to improve the quality of the people's life by having a clean and healthy environment. In line with this goal, UHLG always encouraged us to practice the 3R program. You know the 3R, right? Recycle, reuse, reduce, uh, reduce. Okay, which mean uh, here is given. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. How can the classification of solid waste be carried out effectively? So you, re you remember how do they classify it into this recycle bin over here? The brown one is for what? Remember or not? Paper. Paper, correct. What about the blue one? Plastic. <laughs> you are not sure, right? And the orange color. You go and search. What does this referring to? Okay, I'm going to ask you in the next lesson. Huh? What are all these three uh, recycle bin used for? So you know we have to recycle the plastic, the glass, and also the papers. You classify it. Okay, there is a purpose you learn to classification over here. Huh? The classification, it means a set. We are going to enter further about it later on. This is just an introduction. So we go through the right corner here. That is the mathematician involved huh? for this chapter. Okay, who is it? Jock. Jock Cantor. Okay, 1845 to 1918. He was a German mathematician who first introduced set theory. He published his first article about set theory in the year of 1874. Set theory became popular and was recognized as a branch of mathematics in the late 19th century. So we still use it right now. Okay, now let us look at the... Word link because this chapter is new to you. You need to know all about the definition over here. Venn diagram in BM Gambaraja Venn. Complement of a set pelengkap bagi suatu set. Description perihalan. So the set is still the same. Empty set set kosong. Equal set set sama. Universal set set semesta. Subset the same. Set builder notation. Tata tanda pembina set, set notation, tata tanda set, element unsur. Okay, even the BM version, I think everything's still new to you, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Now, let us look at the set over here. What is set? So, in our daily life, we can classify the recycled material into several categories like the plastic, glass, uh, aluminium, paper, fabric, and so on. So how can this category of material be represented mathematically? They ask you about it. So if you look at the exploration activity over here, you observe the object over here, and then they ask you to sort and classify this object into specific groups. What do you think this object can be classified into? What are the groups? What do you think? If you see carefully, a book, a plastic bag, 
a container, a box, a rubber or eraser, a ball, a can, and a glove. How are you going to classify them? Paper. Things that made up from paper, right? Yeah. Uh, things that made up from paper, there are book and also the uh, box over here. What about the things that are made up of plastic? What are they? The plastic bag, container, the eraser, the ball, and the glove. And this one is the thing that made up from? Aluminium. Aluminium. Okay, that is how you categorize Aluminium. it. Huh? So, from the result of this exploration activity, you can see the object which have the common characteristic will be classified into the same group. Like us, we classify this and this into paper just now, things that made up from paper. This one, two, three, four, five things are made up from plastics and this is from aluminium. So each of this group is known as set, like set of things that made up from paper, set of things that made up from plastic, and set of things that's made up from aluminium. Okay, so we call it set. Are you okay? Yes. Yes, huh? So now we look at how to describe sets. There are three types of uh, notation for you to describe sets, huh? Sets can be written using description. So we are going to learn on how to describe the set today. Description. Second, listing. And the last one is set builder notation. It's very easy, very simple. Don't worry. Okay, we look at this uh, example here. For example, we can write the colors of Jalo Gemilang in set A as follow. So if description, how do we write it? We are going to write the set as uh, Jalo Gemilang over here. I show the example to you uh, because you need to know a very detailed one over here. A is a set of colors of Jalo Gemilang. So you are going to make assumption, actually, we don't use just A. You are going to make assumption, let A be the uh, color of Jalo Gemilang, like that. Then after that, in the description part, you are going to mention this. A is the set of colors of Jalo Gemilang. And then when it comes to listing, in listing, the actual answer for the listing is this only. The rest is just explanation to you on how to... Uh, write down your answer in listing form. So when it comes to set A, you are going to write the A like this, equal to, we call this curly braces. Okay, these are curly braces. And then you are going to fill in the color of your Jalo Gemilang. So your Jalo Gemilang contain red, white, blue, and yellow color. That's it. All of it, you have to separate using comma and then you close your curly braces okay so each object in the set is known as element meaning the red here it is one element this is element uh, white blue and yellow okay when it comes to set builder notation the answer is the last one here oh, sorry the second line here is the answer okay it looks complicated, but it's actually simple. So set A can also be represented by using set notation. This is uh, just to let you know, can be represented using set notation. Uh -huh. Okay, I read this for you. Uh, you listen carefully. Set A is equal to X. This column over here, I'm going to pronounce it as such that. Set A is equal to X such that X is a color of Jalo Gemilang. One of it only, meaning that the X can be red, can be white, can be blue or yellow. One color only. That's why they use a color. So it has to be very particular over here. It's about grandma already. Is a color. So without S, one color only of Jalo Gemilang. Okay, we try to apply this using the example okay we are going to see this example over here now look at example one huh? 
Describe each of the following sets by using description, listing, and set builder notation. So, for example, the first one here, A, letters in the word Malaysia. Okay, so just now I told you what do we need to do before we start with the description, listing, and also set builder notation. Do you still remember? We have to make, make a assumption. Ah, make assumption. So, we have to let the set be represented by... What is the letter that you want to use? Y. Okay, you want to use Y, can? Uh, let the set be represented by Y. Capital letter, okay? You must use all the capital letter to represent it. So now, it's up to you how you want to set the assumption over here. You can also say, let Y be the set, okay? Or let the set be represented by Y, also can. Or let Y equal to the set also can. Okay, now the important part is the description. So, description over here, you are going to mention according to the example given like this. A is the set of colors of Jalo Gemilang. Uh, can somebody switch off your mic for a while? Huh? I can see the motor sound and also the, the motorbike. Okay, description. A is the set of colors of Jalo Gemilang. So if you refer to the occasion over here, letters in the word Malaysia. So Y, for the description, uh, Y is the set of letter in the word Malaysia. You just follow everything. So I write down here, Y is the set of letters in the word Malaysia. Full stop. So, you see everything at the back exactly the same following the question. The only thing is you have to say why is the set of. Okay? Just follow this. You see? A is the set of colors of Jalo Gemilang. So you remember this word, huh? when you come to description, what is the set of? You remember this. Okay, when it comes to listing, listing you are going to denote it using Y. So Y equal to, open the curly braces. So you got to imagine what are the letters is given over here. And then the element that repeated, we don't write it twice. We only write it once. For example, the A. We have many A here, right? So we don't write down all the A, eh? we only write down once. So we start with the first letter that we have, that is M, comma, A. After A is? L. L, correct. After L, Y. And then S, and then I. That's all, right? Then you close your curly braces. That's it. No full stop, no anything, uh, nothing here at the back. Uh, so don't follow like that. Uh, that's not correct. Uh, just like that only for the listing part. And when it comes to set builder notation, so it's actually almost the same as the listing. You just copy this. Y equal to. Open the curly braces again. So you are going to use X. This one always use X. There's no other letter. Okay. Y equal to X such that X is. Ah, how are you going to write? Is a letter. So this one will represent one only because it refers to one of the element only. That's why you, your grammar must be correct. Huh? It must be using a here. X is a letter in the word Malaysia. Like this. And then you close. This one, uh, also no full stop. So you can see, it's actually the same also. Letters in the word Malaysia. You see, follow the question. Letters in the word Malaysia. But when it comes to set, build, uh, set builder notation, you don't use S. Because we only refer to one letter. It's a letter. So you see, the letter without S. For this part, you remember the grammar over here, huh? Just like what we learned in the first example here. 
the X is referring to one of the color only. So is a color. You don't say is a colors. That's not correct, huh? Make sure there's no S because I give you the worksheet later on. You got to make sure you type the correct grammar. Okay, you have to make sure it's exactly the same. Now we try another example. Example B here. Do you have any question for the first one? No. No. Huh? Okay. No. Now we look at example B here. No. Odd numbers which are less than twenty. Can you tell me what is the first odd number? First odd number. Odd number dalam bahasa Melayu adalah nombor ganjil. Nombor ganjil ada apa? So one. Ah, one, three, five, Three. and so on. Seven. Yes, seven. seven. Yes, eleven. Five. Okay. Eleven. So we carry on with this. Ah, odd numbers which are less than twenty. So first thing before we write the description, we have to make a assumption. Assumption. Very good. Let. So you are going to let the set be represented by what? What is the letter that you want to use? Let the set be represented by? X. Oh, you want to use X. Cannot because the X is already in the set notation. P. P, P is it? M. P. P, P, huh? Okay, let the set be represented by P. Any letter up to you to choose, huh? don't worry. So the description part, hopefully you still remember. Therefore, we have to start with the P now. P is the set. Now, this is the one that you have to memorize. P is the set of what? Of odd numbers which are less than 20. You just copy down everything. P is the set of odd numbers which are less than 20 that's all are you okay yes yes, yes, huh? yes now we enter listing listing also start with letter p so this one is fun you are going to list the element in this odd number which are less than 20 so just now you already told me number one isn't yeah. it uh, one, and then three, two, five, seven, seven, nine, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen. Any more? Twenty-one. Okay, not exit ah, uh, because less than twenty yeah. So that's all. We have to stop here, okay? Because it's less than twenty. And then for this set builder notation. When it comes to set builder notation, there's a little bit of yes. different, huh? but then you still copy down the rest. Huh? P is equal to, open the curly braces, is equal to X, such that X is, so you are mentioned about one odd number only, one odd number. So how are you going to write the grammar? A odd number. Is N, because odd number, A-E-I-O-U, right? So you have to use N. An odd number. Yes, X is an odd number. Do I write down numbers or number? Number. number. Very good, no F, huh? And, okay, this part, this part, which are less than 20, you are going to learn, you are going to write according to what you learned in the, what do you call it already? Linear inequality. Less than, you are going to replace it using the, Symbol of less than. And x is less than 20. Like this. And then you close your curly braces. Can or not? Yes. Yes, huh? Yes, so, yes, yes. you remember this part here. When it comes to uh, in here inequality, like what you have learned, when they say more than, or more than or equal to, or less than or equal to, for this part, you are going to represent it using the symbol by writing the x, writing the x, and then you represent it. If it is more than, then you write down like this. Okay, you don't use word anymore. Okay, you need to remember this. Huh? P means set P is equal to x, such that x is an odd number, and the x over here is less than 20. Okay, so now we try the question. I find some extra question for you to solve 
For example, this one. Uh, the colors of traffic light. So I assume the set of the colors of traffic light over here be represented by, I just write down A lah. Huh? So how do we write down for the description for this question here? A is the set of colors of traffic light. Very good. You just continue, copy down. A is the set of colors of traffic light. What about listing? A will be equal to? A equal to red, ah, yellow, green. Very good. Red, yellow, green. The traffic green. lights color. Very good. And the last one, what about the set new denotation? A equal to? X. X. Such that X, X. is? A color, color of a, a color. color. Very traffic good. Light. You understand it. A color, no S, huh? Traffic light. Yes, of traffic light. And then you close the curly braces. Okay, what about the next question here? The vocal. Can you see the vocal here? The uh, Sorry, the vowels. What is vowels? What are vowels? You learned this before. You have vowels and you have consonants. Do you remember this word? Yes. Ah. Very good. The vowels are A, E, I, O, U. And then the consonants are B, C, D, F, and so on. Okay? So over here, they give you the vowel. So I assume, I make assumption, uh, let the set be represented by B. Okay, how do I write the description for this question? B is a set of vowels. Very good. B is the set of vowels. What about listing? B equal to? B is equal to? A-E-I-O-U -E Yeah, A-E-I-O Sorry, A-E-I-O-U You understand very well now A-E-I-O-U Done And what about the set builder notation? B is equal to X Such as X is a vowel Oh, very good Such that X is a vowel Do I have S? No. no S. No. Very good. You understand well. So this is just referring to one of the vowel only. A vowel. A color. Remember? Eh? N odd number. One only. Okay? This one is singular. Okay. Any questions so far? No. No question. No. Then no. I need to continue a little bit more. A eh? little bit more only. Okay. Then you can carry on with your exercise already. Okay, so today we are going to carry on with this empty set. Just now you already see in the beginning, right? In your, um, what do you call it? The word, the word over there. The, the new words that is new to you in this chapter. Empty set. Empty set meaning that there's nothing in that set. For example, if you look at the conversation given here. Set the month with 32 days. Is there any month with 32 days? No. no, right? So there's no money in 32 days, meaning that this is an empty set. For the month with 32 days, is an empty set. Okay, let us see again in further. Oh, you already learned this. So I'm not going to elaborate this part here. So we continue with the empty set over here. Let's see. For empty set, you just need to know the empty set is represented using the symbol like this. Okay, I write down uh, empty set. We use the symbol like this. Or you use the curly braces. Either one. Okay, for example, the situation just now. Set the month with 32 days. So I make assumption. If uh, let the empty set, sorry, let the month be represented by M. I made assumption first, huh? this one just for you to, uh, just to let you know. Let the man be represented by M. 
So to represent this month with 32 days, I just use M is equal to empty set like this because it's, it does not exist. Or I can replace it like this. M is an empty set using the curly braces like this. Okay, this is to represent that there's no element in that uh, set. Are you okay? Yes. Yes, huh? Yes.